Om Shanti. Welcome to your 45th day of your beautiful blessing. And in this blessing, we are learning a very important thing. We have been living our life and we have been either using our own mind and intellect and our old habits or sanskars, which are part of the soul itself, the three qualities of the soul. Either we are using those sanskars, those thoughts, or we are listening to other people and we are listening to them and we are using their thoughts and building up our life. So here Baba says that we need to think whether we are using Shrimat. Shrimat means the elevated guidance of God the Father at this time, present Sangam Yuga or the Confluence Age. And are you thinking and talking and acting in Kaliyugi ways? That means the old Iron Age world ways. Or are you thinking from the Confluence Age where you have a confluence or a meeting with God as a soul? And you get to hear God's dictates every single day, the true dictates. And we do we follow that because that decides whether we're going to be in constant happiness or we're going to be in constant sadness. So let's go ahead and let's understand what Baba exactly means to say over here. So Baba says, may you become free from the dictates of your own mind. See our mind, whether is it pure or impure right now? Think about it. Is it 100% pure? No. Who is the most purest soul in the whole world right now? Think about it. Any human being? No. God is the only one who's left who doesn't have anything going, anything dirty going, anything impure going, anything bad going regarding or anything negative going regarding anybody in this world. So no soul in this world is pure other than God Father. So then Baba says, may you become free from the dictates of your own mind. So whose mind should we listen to? And the dictates of others. So if nobody is pure, then whose dictates should we follow? And constantly experience happiness and lightness by following Shri Mat. So if we follow our own thoughts, our own habits, old habits, when we say old habits die hard, we are not having those good habits in our life. And that's why we pray to God, we seek God's guidance. And here God has come down on earth through Brahma Kumaris and he's guiding us on a daily basis. What is the right way to become a good human being? And from a good human being, what is the right way to become a divine being? So let us first become a good human being. A good human being is one who follows the dictates of God the Father. Human dictates, worldly dictates, whether either they'll teach you jealousy or hatred or they'll teach you differences amongst human beings. They'll guide you towards taking revenge or many more negative things, right? They'll teach you about mine is mine and that is also mine. Or you would like to rule over other people by suppressing them, by dictating them, by ruling over them. That is not godly dictates. So godly dictates are different. So Baba says, And constantly experience happiness and lightness by following Srimad. The minds of the children, now he explains, who take every step according to Srimad are always content because their karmas are pure. They don't have to think about why did I say that? Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, what that person must have felt. Or they don't have to keep on thinking that was that a good karma or a bad karma because they followed Srimad, godly guidance. So they're always content. They would not have any type of upheaval in their minds. Neither are they are into rage or ne nor are they very sad or upset about things. By following Srimad, you will experience natural happiness. It's going to come very naturally to us. And lightness. Because the karmas are very pure. So automatically the lightness comes into our life. So Baba then says, this is why whenever there is upheaval in your mind, if your percentage of happiness reduces even slightly, check this. Now how do we check that? In yesterday's Murli, we realized in the Vardhan that we need to find out the reasons. But if we focus only on the reasons, and not the solutions. The solutions are where? They are given by God the Father. In every day, His dictates come. His Srimad comes and we read that four pages of Murli and He explains to us what is the right method and what is the wrong method. And if we follow that, then we become lighter day by day. Our karmas become purer. We even extinguish our old impure sanskars or habits or karmas and we get rid of them through those dictates. But if we don't, then we need to check, where did I go wrong? Where did I get it strayed? 
from the right path and how do you check that you either sit in meditation and you check you go into depth of whether i was thinking and doing things and talking from somebody else's guidance did i get influenced by somebody's impure thoughts did i get influenced by somebody's impure way of doing karmas or judging others so what was it or did i follow god's shrimat did i see everybody as equal so baba says that check that you can even check it when you are going to sleep at night when you open your diary and you write down what was my today's profit and loss profit means your good karmas loss means your bad karmas now without the right knowledge how can you even think what is the right profit or the right loss which you have done or you have incurred throughout the day for that you need to come and take this divine knowledge at prama kumaris where we get godly shrimat godly guidance so then baba says check this there must definitely have been disobedience in your following shrimat and this is why you have to have subtle checking it has, has to be very subtle not superficial very subtle means you have to go into depth of it and free yourself from the dictates of your own mind and the dictates of others it is so subtle that you can't even come to know whether it was my thought or somebody else's thought or did i follow shrimat but when you are meditating you will have a pure guidance and you'll get to know very clearly that this wasn't my thought this wasn't godly dictate this was my own impure dictate or somebody else's dictates which are guiding me and that's why i'm feeling heavier right now and the lightness has been lost which i had attained by meditating yesterday it happens to us also we go up and down in our own stages after meditating also why because our karmas are not so pure so how do we do that we follow godly dictates so i'll leave you with that and om shanti to you